Hi, I'm That E Guy, and welcome to another GameHeart review. This time, I'm covering Gekraxel, a minimalist 2D platformer set in a world where brave athletes attempt to descend enormous abandoned skyscrapers as quickly as possible as part of a post apocalyptic sport. The gameplay is simple start at the top of a skyscraper, navigate through the maze like internals to collect a key, opening the exit at the bottom, and then escape. However, you're no superhero, a small fall will send you to your grave, so you'll need to navigate carefully in order to survive. In order to navigate these maze-like skyscrapers, you will need to run, jump, climb, and wall kick. As hitting the ground too quickly is lethal, you'll need to make use of the climb button to slow your descent on nearby walls, allowing you to land safely. It takes some time to get used to, but once you get the hang of falling and catching yourself to survive otherwise lethal falls, the gameplay feels quite satisfying and it becomes a challenge of navigation, risky falls and optimal movement in order to score the best times. Speaking of times, Gekraxel doesn't have any story or campaign modes. After completing a tutorial, there are three options for modes available to you. Play, Daily Challenge or Hardcore Challenge. These modes all play the same, but with a few unique differences. Play mode is the least competitive of all three modes, and places you in a random skyscraper each attempt. There is a timer to let you know how you're doing, but there are no deadlines and no best time ghosts to complete with. You can take your time, descend at a pace that is comfortable for you, and complete levels. If you do fail, a new skyscraper will be generated. You don't get a second chance. I felt like this was a strange choice, as I'd prefer to have the option to retry, or generate a new level. Daily Challenge For 24 hours, one skyscraper will be the focus for this mode. You can play it as many times as you would like in order to improve your time and optimise your descent. You also have the option to display a ghost of either the current world record holder or your personal best to compete against in order to give yourself an extra push to get a little bit faster each time. As it stands now, this is the only mode available where you have the option to retry a given level. Hardcore Challenge is a mix between daily and play. Hardcore provides you with the extra stress of competing against the ghost, but completing the level, either by a win or a death, results in a new level being generated. Again, I really felt the need to retry, and I'm not provided with the option to do so. However, I feel like this will possibly change with future updates as the competitive player base adopts the game. Speaking of competitive, you currently can't choose a specific level to play other than the daily. So if you have a competitive bunch of friends and are looking for another game to compete with on the leaderboards, outside of the single daily level each 24 hours, Gekraxel doesn't allow for that matchup. The developers have commented saying that the feature is coming, so hopefully it won't be long until players are able to challenge each other on specific stages. Now I know what you're thinking. Visually, looking from the outside in, Gekraxel doesn't look that appealing. The backgrounds are grey and the player is red, but that's about it. However, when you're playing, this really helps you read the levels in action and get important information quickly. Allow me to explain. The most important visual cue is the circle of light around the player. This circle shows you how far you can fall without that drop being lethal. If the bottom of the circle is touching land, it's safe for you to drop to that platform. This is the one feature that really helps you get a feel for the game, as the lethal fall distance is really quite small and it would have been almost impossible to learn without the visual guide. Additionally, there's also a wall proximity indicator. When you're above a wall, it will glow orange, indicating that if you drop, you'll be able to cling onto it. Despite Gricraxel being very square, the orange line really helps you line up your drops to help you land safely. There are also a few other quality of life visuals, such as the vertical beam that highlights where your character is at all times. It's very unlikely that you'll get lost, but as you fall faster, the beam thins out to help with precise landings. The key that you need to collect is also red, so it's unlikely that you'll miss it, but there is also an X-shaped beam of light directing you right to it, even before it comes on screen, to ensure you see it on the way down and can plan accordingly. In the version of Gekraxel that I played, the sound design is extremely minimal. There are sound effects, but no music. 
The sound effects are quite nice, with falling thuds sounding deep and satisfying, and the walking has a nice tap to it with enough variation to not get annoying. But this one would probably be best played with some of your own songs in the background to make the experience feel less lonely. In its current state, Gakraxel isn't perfect, but the gameplay is solid and more features are coming, so if this looks like the sort of game that might be your thing, give it a proper go, because it does take some time to get into the flow of the gameplay, and I'm worried that many players who would enjoy this game won't give it enough of a chance due to the minimalist design. Once you get a feel for it, there really is a lot of fun to be had here. If you are going to pick this game up, I've created a team, Game Heart Gaggle, you can join me and we can climb the leaderboards together. And finally, if you're a competitive speedrunner and want to get into running this game or have suggestions for the developer on how to make this a viable game to compete for times on speedrun.com, join the community discord. I've put a link in the description below. The developers are active and willing to listen. They want to make Gakraxel as good as it can be. To summarize, in Gakraxel, the platforming is satisfying, and the catching climbing mechanic is really fun to practice and execute. The levels are generated dynamically based on seeds, so you'll never run out of stages to play, and if you're competitive about leaderboards, there are some extremely competent players in the community already blazing through these levels to add some real competitive spirit. I hope you've enjoyed this review, please like or share the video if you feel so inclined, or leave a comment and I'll get back to you. In the meantime, happy clambering. Right, and down to the key. Alright, the exit will be here somewhere. Yes, and I think I've made it. Yes! Ah. Oh.